a little bit more information on um, the college students. I've been in touch with uh, Dr. Schmidt Campbell from Spelman College and also Dr. Thomas from Morehouse College, obviously. There's a lot of care and concern amongst all of our residents, but especially our partners over at, at the Atlanta University Center. I've also been in constant contact today with representatives of, fam of, um, of the students. I have not spoken directly with the students, but I have spoken with their representatives. And um, as Chief Shields mentioned, this, this is one that kept me up all night as well. I saw the video late into the night, and I think what it really highlights for me and for all of us, uh, there would have been a time, probably even last week even, that we would have been able to take our time and we would have been able to toss some things around um, and very likely would not have taken the measure of terminating these officers. But again, as we watch the video today, um, it became abundantly clear immediately uh, with the young woman that this force was excessive. And it took us to really, um, we had to look at several angles for the young man. Again, there were five officers involved and we want to make sure that we are being thoughtful and that we aren't um, rushing to judgment in any way um, but it also became abundantly clear that the officer who tased the young man needed to be terminated as well. And I share that with you because that is what you will see happen each and every day in the city of Atlanta going forward. Our attitudes toward how we not only police our communities but how we respond to policing our communities has to change. We no longer have the benefit of